All right, done with this bullet journal that I created with all my memories. Uh, I couldn't fit any more. Um, I actually wrote too much this time around. Normally, my journals are good for the whole year, but this is the first time I did a bullet journal, and yeah, I did not space accordingly, and it's literally bursting at the seams. So, basically, I got a new one, and I'm about to start fresh and show you how I bullet journal. Let's go. So first off, I had this in this journal, and I'm going to just transfer that over to this one. So there's some consistencies, and then I'm going to create my planner like this, along with my monetary goals, as well as my journal. And yeah, I just keep going till I get to the recap, and then next month. All right. So for the overview, I was a little bit short last time, so I'm gonna go a little bit above. What I do is I take an extra sheet of paper and I measure the length and then the width, and then I transfer it over to here. No, I'm not perfect, but that's pretty much just just. All right, and that's what the first column. And then I'll just keep going. And I'm done. Made a little boo-boo. We're human, we all make mistakes. But yeah, so basically I track the entire year here and I can look back. As you can see, I started it from the first seven months here. When I went to physical therapy, when I went to work, when I traveled, my periods. And this is very helpful for me so I can literally look all at once to see what I can plan for for the entire year. Everybody's different. If you are a student, you can put down when your exams are so you can prepare ahead of time. If you uh, do business trips, you can plan that ahead as well, as well as any vacations or any other uh, trips or events that um, you want to write down, such as weddings, bridal showers. So you could just look at the year at a glance. Um, otherwise, uh, that's when I do the monthly and that's when I plan per month like this. But if I want a more broad overview, that's when I use this. So yeah, let me just plot that real quick and we will go and start creating the month of August. This is a little preview of what it will look like. All right, so I finished. I plotted the days that I worked, physical therapy, period, travel, and weddings. Um, but for now, um, those are the biggest events that I have planned and just in case I do call out for work I put the rest of the work days in pencil which I highly recommend that you don't put anything down for sure unless you're like a thousand percent sure you're gonna go because life happens and it's a pain in the butt as you can tell to white things out all the time so I recommend using a pencil before you finalize any plans all right on to the next. The next page is going to be my uh, August page. It's going to resemble this. And like before, 
we are going to use a scrap piece of paper to measure um, otherwise you can use the bullet count how many down and width and you can go from there as well let's do it So that's my box. Those are my deeds. And so basically from here, I just write like that. And I will just input the days starting with Tuesday for the month of August. down that it is and normally if you're really creative or you have the time you can make this really pretty i personally stopped caring but yeah there you have it uh you could just input all of the stuff that you have going on for this month such as for me i have work so I could put that in right here. And you could continue on. All right, that's all the events for me for my month of August. I just really have work, physical therapy. I put the events that my apartment hosts when I get my paychecks. And so far, I only have one plan, which is one dinner dinner event that I have but otherwise uh, the rest of the days um, I just kind of put in what I did that day like if I chilled if I went grocery shopping just so that I personally know what I did that day um, even if it's just to rest if I cancel PT and if anyone came over but yeah on to the next page which is gonna be finances so i'm very transparent where i spend my money and i like to just basically keep track where everything is and if any interest accrued how much i spent so i am aware of how much i spent in a month and where it went so yeah that will go right here all right so I put my money in different sources and different places. All right, and that's how I start the month. From here, I just add everything that I spent. And that's pretty much it. And I just leave this here. How much money I saved. How much I need to have in each account and reoccurring charges just, just so that I'm all neat and caught up. And then that's when I start my journal. And here is what 
I'll just be writing down everything that happened that day. Uh, I guess you could call it a diary, but for me, it's just so that I know what happened that day and I could just look back and see all the memories like this, especially like when I went to like Hawaii, I got to keep all of this stuff. It's just a great memento for me and by the end by the end of the month i will have this recap where if i don't want to read all this i can just go here and see uh how productive i was and what i did that month but yeah overall i hope you enjoyed uh and yeah on to new beginnings <laughs> bye